Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. And the other into the router. Then press the power button. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet port. And D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Sonic the router to the power adapter and your Internet provider's cable. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, I'll show you how to set up the router if the setup wizard started automatically. Even after the setup wizard, you still might not have internet. So watch the video till the end, I'll show you the additional settings you need to configure. Some of you may not have setup wizard because it's not available on all firmware, so later in the video I'll show you what to do if you don't have it. First, you have to accept the terms of use for the router.
On the next page, create a name and password for your Wi-Fi network. On this page, you need to create a password for the router's admin panel. This is the password you had at the beginning. Check all the information and save the settings. Now reconnect to your Wi-Fi network using the new credentials. And click the next button. On this page, click the skip button. On this page, check for firmware updates. If there are any, install them. And click the done button. Now check if your internet is working. Just Google something. If you still don't have internet, follow the next steps. I'll show you what to do. First, go to the Configuration tab. Then, in the WAN Setup section, select Internet Connection Type. You can find this information in the contract with your internet provider. If you don't know your connection type, choose this one, it's the most common. And save the settings. Next, go to the Wi-Fi tab. In the basic wireless settings section, you can change the name of your Wi-Fi network. And save the settings. If you were connected via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the updated network. Then in the wireless security section, set a password for your Wi-Fi network. Save the settings. And again, if you were connected via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the updated network. Now you need to restart the router. Go to the Administration tab. Device Reset. And click the Restart button. Wait a couple of minutes for the router to fully power on. Now check to see if you have an internet connection. Just Google something. If the internet does not work, try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Configuration tab. Then to the MAC address clone section. Check the box here. Click the Clone My PC's MAC button. Save the settings. And then restart the router again. Now check if the internet is working. Just try googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.